Hey, getting ready to head into the Dallas Park Board meeting. They're getting ready to award the contracts for the tennis centers. Guess it means the beginning of the end for us. So maybe the middle of the end makes it official though. And I'm gonna protest. I don't think that it was right. I think that we should have been awarded the contract for frets, but we'll see what they have to say. <sighs> One of those days, we'll be back. Made it through security. I'm heading for the elevators. Gonna head on up and see what it's all about. Uh, we will first start with our public speakers. Uh, I've got most people here, everyone but one person here on the Randall Park issue, so I'm going to let uh, Mr. Dewey Evans go up first uh, since he is here to speak about our tennis centers. Mr. Evans, if you could step up to the mic. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the Park Board. My name is Dewey Evans. I am the managing member of a company which has run Samuel Grand Tennis Center for the last seven and a half years and Fretz Tennis Center for uh, about a year, I guess two years, first of this month. And we have largely been the turnaround specialist for our park board. We took Samuel Grand from being tied for the worst performing facility to easily the highest grossing facility and winner of the 2014 USTA National Facility of the Year Award. Um, we assumed frets and under uh, when Ray Major left in December a couple of years ago, and we've turned it to where it is now the top grossing facility of the five city of Dallas facilities. We did so with no training. We assumed this Samuel Grand contract and walked in and were given 20 minutes by the person who was turning in the keys of here's how you fill out the report and run the cash register and left. We had to make a lot of hard decisions. We were left with a three ring binder with the park board policies and we tried very hard to enforce both the spirit and the letter of those policies and along the way um, probably made some people unhappy both the ones at Samuel Grand and at Fretz when we walked in and there were a lot of special deals um, but we worked very hard to enforce what we felt like was happening. Well, the bid came through and we have not been the chosen bidder for Fretz Tennis Center is the one that we bid on after not choosing to bid on Samuel Grand. We offered to renovate the pro shop. We had arranged to work with the Samuel Stiles and the Dallas Parks Foundation to do a capital campaign for the facility. Um, and I'm curious as to why we were not the chosen bidder. I, I wonder if some of those hard decisions we had to make in enforcing city policies tainted the water, so to speak, a little bit, and I, I wonder if that isn't what happened. Um, I'm here to say I don't believe that was a good decision, um, and I don't believe that the bid should be awarded um, to the chosen bidder, and I'm curious as to know why. That's, Thank you, Mr. Evans. Before we go to consent, I'm going to ask, does anyone want to pull anything off consent? And we'll address that item right after. So anyone need to pull anything off consent? Okay, so Mr. Uh, sorry, Stewart, do you have a motion? Yes, I move we adopt agenda item 7, Kid Spring Park, Page, Norbuck Park, 9, Samuel Grand Tennis Center, East Tennis Center, LB Houston, Farrow, Fred, and item 10, the aquatics for Kid Springs, Lake Highlands North, and TC Park. So second. We've got a motion by Mr. Stewart and a second by Mr. Slaughter. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. So there it is. We're out. Um, time to think about what's going to come next. Been a good run.